The Ace Magic S1 is a mini PC with a gimmick, and it's a pretty cool one. If you've ever wanted your mini PC to display the time or some other stats, then this mini PC is definitely of interest to you, especially when you factor in its performance. It's also got some cool features I need to tell you about. But before that, the Ezus Rec Experts screen recorder is an all-in-one solution for recording everything on your screen, whether it's online meetings, gameplay, tutorials, and more. Rec Experts supports 4K and 60fps in various video formats, and there are plenty of additional features, including a simple video editor to clean up your recording. Give it a test run with the link in the video description. So the strangest thing for me about the S1 is that it's rocking an entry-level Intel N95 4-core CPU. I would have thought the 1.9-inch LCD screen would be a feature found on a much higher-end mini PC. And you can find the Ace Magic S1 on the official website for $159 US dollars for the 512GB storage, 16GB RAM model. Oh, and that's with free worldwide shipping. On Amazon.com, it's $179. Not bad, not bad at all. In the box is a mini PC, a manual, power supply, and HDMI. It also comes with a magnetic vertical stand, which is my ideal setup for these minis. Whether you put it horizontally or vertically, the 170 by 320 pixel resolution LCD screen can be changed to fit either orientation. And while the mini is made of plastic, it's high quality and, well, I like the design. There's a sort of gamer vibe without going over the top. And I don't even mind the RGB lighting strip on the front, since it's dim and not distracting. So the Ace Magic S1 looks and feels surprisingly premium for the low price. And in a field of plain Jane and aesthetically challenged minis, I'm impressed by the design of this one. It looks good any way you place it. Another reason it works so well vertically is that the four USB ports are on the top of the unit. Dual USB 3, 5 gigabit, and dual USB 2. It's powered by a barrel jack connector and has dual HDMI 2.0 for two 4K 60 displays. There's also a dual gigabit LAN and an audio jack. The storage and memory slots are covered by a magnetic panel, which makes this one of the easiest minis on the entire planet to open up. I approve. I approve a lot. And inside the S1 are two 2280 M.2 slots. This is the first Alder Lake N budget mini PC I've reviewed to have this. One slot is running at Gen 3 X2 speeds with the included Bywin NVMe SSD, and the other is M.2 SATA. I installed an M.2 SATA drive next to the NVMe and tested it. The drive performed as expected. The only thing missing here is some sort of cooling. If you want to disconnect the RGB strip or the LCD screen, that can be done here. Included memory with the S1 is a DDR4-3200 stick. Realtek 8852BE handles the Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth duties. Windows 11 Pro is included. Ubuntu worked without any problems straight off the USB drive, except for the LCD screen, which will only display the time. That's because when you launch Windows, an app will start which controls the LCD. In the app, you can switch it from portrait to landscape, and choose one of the four themes. Not happy with these? You can make your own. Go to Customize and choose your background image. Nothing lewd for all the kids watching this video. And then select which of the available metrics you want to display. It's a bit more versatile than I expected. But wouldn't it be cool if you could put MSI Afterburner stats on there as well? One can dream. You can also customize the RGB strip. There's a couple of different modes, speed and brightness, or you can just turn it off. Both these apps are only available in Windows. Right then, let's take a look at how the Ace Magic S1 holds up in the benchmarks. In single core, it's one of the top performers. Not much between it and the higher ups. The multi-core, the S1 scored a little bit lower than the other N95s, but being 1% slower, I'd say margin of error kicks in. For video encoding, it took number one spot against the N95 rivals and is ahead by the next best one by 3%. The graphics benchmark was the most surprising, with a score around Intel N100 level. So I tested GTA 5, which is a DirectX 11 game, and put it against an Intel N100, and yep, it did really well. Almost matching it exactly. 
color me impressed. In DX12, the S1 took the first N95 spot again, but not by much. And when I tested this N95 in emulation, it performs very closely to the N100. It's the same deal really. You're looking at 720p for PS2, GameCube, and Wii games. Some titles will need to be dropped to 480p to get full speed. The N95 also has AV1 hardware video decoding and 4K 60fps playback works fine. It's also fine mini PC for everyday tasks or as an office PC. Idle power draw is on the higher end, but when you take into account it's also powering the RGB strip and LCD screen, it's still pretty good. Max power draw is again a little higher than the other N95s, but the S1 also performs better overall. The cooling in this mini PC is top notch. It has the lowest max CPU temp of any Intel Alder Lake N mini PC I've tested so far, and matched the Geekom Mini Air 11, which was the best of the previous gen budget units. This low temp also comes with low fan noise, not the lowest out there, but still impressive when taken together with a low CPU temp. SSD maximum temperature on the other hand is on the high side. The NVMe drive didn't thermal throttle when I thrashed it, but this is at 21C ambient and it's not too far off. Instead of the transparent window on the side panel of the Mini, it would have been better to have mesh or something with holes in it to allow some airflow on the storage and memory. And here are the extra BIOS options which will be of use to some like when running a home server. Ok, so to summarize the findings, the Ace Magic S1 is the best performing Intel N95 unit I've tested so far, and is pretty close to the N100s. Its CPU cooling is top notch. I think it's a pretty nice looking mini PC and has a great magnetic vertical stand. Whether the LCD screen is of use to you is something that you'll have to decide, but having the time display isn't a bad option either. It also has two full-sized M.2 slots for storage, but the lack of any cooling on the M.2 storage drives is the S1's biggest weakness, and there's no Linux support for the display either, so you just get the time function. Otherwise, it's a pretty cool unique box and definitely the best N95 mini I've tested so far. Sure, the Ace Magic S1 is pricier than other N95 units, but it has better performance, cooling, build quality, and of course, the LCD screen. Most minis in this budget range have cut corners somewhere, but this one does most things right. So if the LCD screen turns you on, this is the mini for you. It would have also been awesome to see more CPU options for this box, maybe something for the future. But if you're looking for something more powerful that's still quiet, why not check out my review of the Ace Magic 8015 right here. Cheers.